Hello everybody, it is me Jess and welcome to another video on my channel and it's time for some more F1 2021 content and it's going to be an interesting one. We just about missed the podium in France with Aidan Jackson and it was a nice battle with Valtteri Bottas as well. We were able to meet our two objectives as well which was good news. Let's see how Aidan does in the next race if you haven't done so already make sure you click the subscribe button and turn notifications on so you know when to check out my videos and streams so without further ado let's get on with the next chapter chapter four and we are at the british grand prix with alfa romeo continuing to show signs of improvement the f1 world turned its eyes to silverstone a real test for rookie aiden jackson as he hopes to do well at his home Grand Prix. So let's see what we could do with Aiden Jackson here. And I'm very, very excited. And here he's showing Fernando Alonso making a comeback at uh, Renault slash Alpine, which, if you know, uh, Fernando Alonso is actually having a lot of fun in Renault. So we're, we'll look a bit at the story. Um, you can read, of course. Um, we've got a few emails as well and socials to look through. But first of all, we got a call from unknown. I wonder who it is. Let's answer it. Hello? Hello, mate. Who is this? Oh, come on, keep up. It's Devon. Butler. The very same. How did you get this number? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Listen, listen. I just wanted to pass on a bit of friendly advice. Oh. Now, it's always tricky racing on your home track. The pressure, all the fans watching, it's a nightmare. Right, yeah, I imagine it is. But if you keep your cool, you stay focused, you will get through it, okay? Just just imagine it's a different circuit on the other side of the planet. Then, when your race does fall apart, it'll be a lot easier to deal with. Yeah, uh, great advice. I knew you'd think so. Anyway, good luck out there today. Just, just try and make it to the end, eh? <laughs> Ta -ta. Uh, yeah, good luck to you too. I'll see you later. So that was from Devon Butler calling us as well. I wonder if he's playing a little bit of mind games. We'll have to wait and see. And we got some emails to look through as well, speaking about the home race. And uh, Brian's just giving us a heads up about um, the home circuit and on Sil Silver's 70th anniversary. Um... And we also got the weather forecast as well, um, which is quite cool. So we're looking at these emails. Um, the race is going to straight stay dry, which is all the good news um, from our engineer. And uh, um, the PA is with my mum, which is interesting. <laughs> and uh, we have got a little bit of stuff about the Trackside magazine as well. So we've gone through all the emails. Let us head into the race, which hopefully should be a good one. I believe it's another 25% race, and hopefully we can have a much cleaner race than we did in, in France. So let's get started. So... So Aiden Jackson had a fantastic Q3 and he's been enjoying um, his best career performances. But then something unfortunate happened. A puncher on the front right threatens to ruin his chances. Jackson sets his sights on salvaging what he can from the race. Tires are gone. Tires are gone. Tires are gone. Copy Aiden. Box, box. Copy. Let's just minimise the damage. Oh no, Aiden Jackson has got a puncher. Not what he wants. It's so hard to drive. And hopefully we're going to make the most of this opportunity. So we're coming in. Not good for us. So it is a long pit lane. It's around 28 seconds. So, yeah, I'm a bit worried. Oh, look at his tyre, man. Oh, my goodness. 
And we're dropping way down. Oh my god. So we come in onto some soft tyres. And we've got a few more laps to go. Hopefully we can claw our way through the fields, which should be, I think, quite hard, but you never know. So here we come out. Hopefully the fans should give us some extra love as well. Still time left to push for the points here, Aiden. Copy. Hopefully we can get points, fingers crossed. And the delta is considerably quite higher than the mediums, about five tenths of a second. So, okay, so we're catching up to Nicholas Latifi in the Williams. Is Williams' his home at Grand Prix as well? It's kind of a bittersweet moment, but we really need to get past him. Let's see what we could do going into Vale then. Late on the brakes again. And a nicely clean move. So our next target will be Daniel Ricciardo. So catching Daniel Ricciardo is going to be very, very interesting. Because we know Ricciardo is really, really good in the Renault. Well, he was last year anyway. And 5.1 seconds is the gap now. So we are clawing back. But we still got to get past Gasly and a few other cars to make sure we get into the points and meet our objective. So past Woodcoat and heading in towards Cox Corner. A slight lift is needed with default setup because otherwise you're going to end up going into the grass and lose a bit more time. And we don't want that, do we? And we don't want to undo our hard work. So heading towards the hangar straight then. As we could see, Ricardo and Gasly drawing in, having a nice battle in front, which should help us. Our gap behind is 6 .6 and I have a feeling that the more that the trade is going to grow, the more that we could possibly get not one, but two cars. But we do not want to take any risks here. So, a little bit of a slide there, going through the Hamilton straight. Heading towards turn one now through Abbey. You can see Gasly just in front of us. I don't think we're going to go for the move yet. We don't want to take any risks. But you never know. The AI could make a mistake. We are going to have the DRS though. So let's see what we could do. Getting past Gasly. ERS enabled. Use a slipstream. Heading towards Brooklyn. A bit of a love zap from Gasly. And myself. So we're not going to go for the move as of yet. Go the outside. Easy does it. Up into 15th. Now is our chance to get Ricardo. now. As soon as we get past Ricardo, Oh, we've gone off a bit. As soon as we get past Ricardo, We've got the likes of Vettel and Ackerman. Start on the hard compound of tyres. Well, Ackerman is anyway... No, Ackerman's on the mediums, actually. And look at that. The gap's closing. This could be our chance. So we've got Ricardo And Aiden Jackson is going to be sending with the Send of Dreams. Oh. I don't think we were meant to do that. But hey-ho. Ricardo is still in front. Well, behind us. So next on our hit list is our teammate, Ackerman. We've had some good battles as of late, so hopefully our relationship will be on the up, fingers we crossed. I'm going to watch our fuel levels as well. We did try to go through the move there into turn three, but again, not taking any risks here. So now, Wellington straight once again, overtake on, we are got plenty of ERS to drain up and not many laps to go so we got to get the move done ASAP it's going to be difficult probably we could be brave and try and get past it to cops but it's not going to work so oh 
Ackerman's too early on the brakes there. Oh my goodness. Right. Maggots and Beckett's. Ooh. The AI tend to be, I think, a lot slower through there. So let's see if we can try and get them here. Right, go a bit of slipstream. Could get both of them, actually. No. Ackerman actually backs off us. Nope, he's not. Nope, he's not. We'll get Ackerman first. There we go. Nailed that. Not long to go. So let's see if we can get Bettle. We've got to get him, I think, through turn three, really. Which we do. So two more positions to make. We've got to get Alvin and Butler. Butler harder, I think, because he's on the mediums. We're going to try and defend off of Vettel and Ackerman. We're still battling us. But we'll see, you never know. And in three cups again, again a slight lift. We may do this, you know, but obviously we can't become complacent. So then. We're purple in sector two. This is good. This is good. Got a good run. A beautiful run heading through Stowe. This is crucial now. Very crucial. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Hamilton straight once again. Oh. Let's see how many fuel we have in a second. So let's try and get past Albany. Brilliant. Nice. How on earth did I do that? That was just crazy. But anyway. We're going to get Butler. And hopefully Butler does not cause any issues. Because uh, we do not want... To be any arguments with him but what do you think of Devon Butler now on this game is he on the side of Aiden Jackson or do you think that he's playing mind games like I said earlier personally I think he's playing mind games but it's probably just me well let's get Devon I think we're squeezing each other. Right, we're in the points. We're in the points. We could still salvage some more places. We could get Perez. Perfect. Up into ninth now. We've got the fastest lap as well. Gap to teammate behind is and I think we've done what we need to do. So, just keeping it steady now. Because you never know what might happen in the final lap. Do not make any mistakes. Because otherwise we obviously fail our objective. So. Come on Jess. Keep it calm. Keep it calm. And I'm sure our team will be very happy. With the recovery drive that we are doing. And I'm sure I'll be happy as well. Oh. I'm surprised we didn't even get a warning then. Jesus. Lewis Hamilton wins the race at his home Grand Prix. I wonder if we got a puncher. Like he did last year. Hmm. Okay, gap ahead is 2.3 seconds. So...
We could get signs actually, if we're lucky, but again, I think signs is a bit too further back to do that. Unless we use some ERS, we're going to use it anyway. We got P9. What a recovery drive from us. I think I'll be very happy. And Mercedes have pulled off a great victory here today. What a race for young Aiden Jackson. If he can keep this up, he's got a long, promising career in front of him. Absolutely. He'd have been gutted about that puncture. Imagine what kind of challenge he'd have been able to make without it. You've got to give it to him, though. He gritted his teeth and pulled it back. Great driving. Now, whisper it quietly, but things seem to be on the up for Alfa Romeo's Aiden Jackson. One to watch. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. So we've overcome the odds and we've managed to get a points finish. What a relief for us. And we got a new award as well. So that's good. So let's look at the, the roundup at St. Alston. With another display of fantastic control and determination, the new Alfa Romeo driver Aidan Jackson is certainly proving his worth. And Brian wants to talk to us. Brian. Well, someone's the hot topic in the press room. What do you mean? Oh, come on. There's no need to be so modest. What are you on about, Brian? Well, after that puncture, everyone thought you'd lost it. But to pull it back and into the points, it's all anyone's talking about. Well, I'm glad the press are starting to take notice. Oh, get used to it. They put a bunch of interviews in your diary for tomorrow. It's why I was calling. Right. Thanks for letting me know. So don't celebrate too hard tonight, eh? Yeah, all right, Brian. Don't worry. I'm only going to see my mum. Right. Well, each to their own. See you later, Brian. So there we go then, we spoke to Brian then, let's look at our socials and see how they think about Aiden. I think everyone is quite happy there. Yeah, I think everybody was happy about that race. And uh, we'll check our emails as well. And our team principal is happy with that. So that's good. Team, I just wanted to send around a huge thank you and well done. I'm humbled and proud to see how everyone pulled together and performed in perfect harmony today. Of course, the day wasn't without some drama. I think I could speak for everybody when I say we all thought we lost Aiden once his tyre went, especially Jeff. I don't think I've ever seen him turn so red, but we all pulled it back. I'm very proud of this team and all we're achieving. I'll see you all in the debrief. And uh, we got another email as well. I'll bring your mum around to see you. Just pin me a message. Really great race today. Congratulations. You could have warned me about your mum. My ears are still ringing. Aww. So, that is the end of chapter four, which I have to say was very, very good for us, even with the troubles. So, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up and turn notifications on. So, I will see you next time for another F1 2021 video. Have a good day, everybody, whatever you're doing, and goodbye.